Oles will start in the ruck against Ben Cole. Ball in dispute. The umpire will come in, do a bit more work. PJ was trying to do a netty bet. <laughs> so, up again. Bowles goes up early, gets it down. Falcon into Holwell's head. Broman, oh, he just gets rid of the football, did he? Yeah, well, it was a throw. Holding the ball, whatever you like. Holwell oh, will oh. take the free kick. Go towards half foot. It's a good kick. Marshall comes out on a long lead, takes the mark. At centre half forward. Not much to kick to. Back in the goal square, he goes short. And I think it's okay, is yeah, it? Yeah, mark, mark free kick, free. whatever yeah. you want. Exactly right, Grub. And Wall has the mark. So he had a good first term. And we'll shoot for goal from at 35 metres out. 45 degree angle. He's uh, on the right half forward flank city end of Godfrey Street. He comes in. And kicks it now. That's, that's a, a good, good kick. kick. <laughs> it's a very good kick. So good start for Thompson. Brendan Wall puts his first on the board first for Thompson. And they go to 1410. They trail Bannyburn 1612. One and a half played second term. I just got this funny feeling. I stood out there before the start of the game and I reckon that wind was blowing over me right side. I reckon Thompson may have an advantage of the wind in this quarter. And, and if that's the case, that 1-6 from Bannockburn may have kicked them out of the game. If they can kick three or four goals, with, if it's the breeze end, we might be on our way to an upset. We could be. Ball back in the middle of the ground. This time Ruckman go at it. Both uh, Ruckman probably hardly got a touch to it. Ends up in the hands of Broman. Delivers the ball into the half forward line. Coming up, Stevenson read the fly to the ball yeah, nicely. He read it well. He's uh, got some uh, room to go forward now. Waiting for Tom to move. I think Tom's waiting for the ball to come in long. Goes towards the pocket. Fulton's the target. Nice kick. Handball. His hands out in front. And uh, Big Fulton's going to take the mark. He's going to go back. Shoot for goal from the forward pocket. So that breeze, if we are right, Grub would be actually taking the ball away from the goal, wouldn't it? It would, yeah. Yeah. So he's got to kick it pretty hard at the uh, right-hand post. A little that bit of drift. It makes it a really, really tough kick from there. So from that forward pocket, pocket position, kicks it goal, floats it, and he oh. hits the post. Oh, that's a good kick too. So Fulton with his second behind of the afternoon. Bannockburn now to 1-7. They lead Thompson on 1-4, and we've gone two and a half minutes. Second quarter, coming to Fiend Hotel scoreboard. With the ball kicking out now. Out by Labors, goes long. It's a nice kick. Bowls up and down before the ball yeah, even arrived. Put his hands on his back. Umpire too. says, Yes, you're right there, Grub. So the free kick goes to Cole. Cole, little short kick back into the half forward line. Stevenson working hard, goes in that direction. It uh, does stay in the field of play. Now pushed over. And taking the ball over was Jake Randall. Not that's sure that's a good move, Smith. If you're going to go the big long kick, you've got to make sure that your players out there know it's coming. Don't he, you? He was up, but he was up there and gone before the bloody acceptance. But he was out of him. position. He didn't no, know it was right. coming. So the ball back into the field of play now. Umpire throws it back in. Over the top. Picked up Link Peters. He's taken the ground. Ball is snatched out. This time I think it's uh, Atkinson out there on the far side. Had it and lost it. So a bit of scrambly play once again. Umpire now decides to come in and take possession of the ball. I finally found the scores. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> It's on Sports TG, but seriously, you have to do a lot of mining, I can tell you. Why didn't you give it to me? I'd have found it. Yeah, I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't have thought so. No, I can't even spell your name. So we'll give them to you shortly. Ball up. Half forward for Bannockburn. They go high with a kick. Inside 50. Fulton with a run at it. Should mark it. Oh, should have oh. marked it. Jacker, second in line. He can't take it either. Fulton's down too. Injured and the ball straight over the top of him. <laughs> and about 10 blocks fall over the top of him yeah, as well. Yeah, you got to blow the whistle. The, the bloke's on the deck. The umpire will come in. Uh, Winch, 6 one Lead North Geelong, 3 3 Inverley, 7-4-4. 46 lead East Geelong 2 3 15. Cryo 2 4 16. Trail Bell Post Hill 4 4 28. And Werribee 3 1 19. Lead Anarchy 1 uh, 1 7. So oh, the ball, ball still in 54. Bannock Burn. Stevenson sees it across the line. And a boundary line for a throw in. Couple of surprises there. Yes, Winch 6 1. Leading North 3 3 right at well. home. You'll have to commentate. I'm trying to, <laughs> to organise this thing. I tell so you, free kick goes to Jarks uh, anyway. Easy. So Brent Jarks now with the ball outside forward 50. No, it's going back. Cole's got to be the recipient of the free kick. So he's got the ball now. Little handball off. Ah, no, no, can't has do him, that. Hasn't blown time on. So Cole takes it back again. This is Ben Cole. He's going to try the third time. I think he goes directly across the ground. Good kick inside. Spiller takes the mark as a player outside in Bandingen. If he wants him, decides to uh, hold up now. He goes long towards goal. 
In the Tom direction, he's up in front. Mark not taken in front of the contest. Ball picked up. Thompson cleared away. Ends up in the hand of Labor. Been quite good for the Thompson side. Yeah. Kicks out in his right foot this time. He looks a natural left, but uh, delivers the ball wide. Unfortunately, too wide. And the free kick will go to Cole. So this time again, Ben Cole. He's racking up the possessions, getting the free kicks. And uh, a couple from out of bounds. Plays on now. He goes long. Back again towards that hot spot. Out the back mark is taken there. Howland. Or I thought it was a clean mark. Umpire must have said it was touched. He said touch off the boot, but oh, did there's he? no one anywhere near it. Didn't look like it. No. And the umpire now calls for a ball up. About 25 out from the Bannockburn goals. Glad you're working the... the uh Machine there, Jase, because I've got no idea what you're trying to do. <laughs> ball out the back. Spiller can't take it. Broman over the top. Dives on it. Gets the ball out. Handball comes out to Jarks. Kicks back towards goal. Can't bring it back anywhere near far enough again. And it's through for a minor score. So Brent Jarks has now two behinds. And Bannockman now to one goal eight. And they lead Thompson on one four. We have gone six minutes. Coming to Fiend Hotel, second quarter scoreboard. So Jacker again with the footy. Goes down, straight down towards nobody really. The ball came back towards Atkinson off the contest at half forward. Oh, Watts chopped it off, gave it away to Broman. He's handball beautiful oh, in front. Goal and Stevenson time. has to kick it. And he's, he's missed. missed it. Gee whiz, I'll tell you what, goal kicking practice this week for both teams. Stevenson's wow. first by 1 9 15. Uh, Bannockburn, they lead Thompson 1 4 10. Six and a half minutes played, second term. Jack has had plenty of kicking in. Work to do. He kicks it in, plays on, kicks it in, goes towards centre wing. Marshall goes up, off the back of the pack, through the middle. And Lavers couldn't take, Coon couldn't take it as well for Thompson. Over the shoulder, said the umpire. And I think it's McIntosh will take the free kick. Reeky. Is it Reek, is it? Yeah. yeah, it is Reek. Centre wing. Chips the ball. Kelly takes the mark. So, I think Kelly just takes his time. He called to play on now. Nobody coming at him, so he runs backwards. Runs backwards 20 metres and still has to go down the line where he was going to go anyway and turn the ball over. So he probably should have just turned the ball over to start with. Kick the crap out of so it. So Hole takes the mark for Thompson on centre wing. Goes long towards half forward. The sit at the back. Oh, oh, my wall, wall takes the mark. So he plays on now, 60 out from goal on the half-forward flank. Goes towards Matheson in the pocket. Runs away from him, though, and he can't keep it in. And we will have a boundary throw in. Right forward pocket. Thompson into attack at the city end of the ground. They try 1-4-10. Bannockburn, 1-9-15. Eight minutes played, second term. Waiting now for the umpire to restart play. Forward pocket, 10 minutes around from behind post. Thompson, another opportunity here to get the ball. Ball comes out. Tapped away by Cole. Goes towards the half-back line. Coming through Banks. Tried to take the ball out. Couldn't take the mark. Handball comes out the back. I think it's Lavers again. Runs on that left boot. He's uh, all right in the left, but he needs to get rid of it. Does so. Puts boot to ball. Goes back towards the goal square. Behind. Mark is not taken. Kicked off the ground. Matheson. And hits the behind post, I think. Yep. The ball. So we'll have a throw in to take place. Invalid 9 4 58 East, 2 3 15. Going all right, the Hawks. Where's me non improvers? I think. <laughs> 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 so the ball comes back, top of the square. Oh. Matheson over the top, little party trick. Again, the ball oh. goes back, hits the behind post once again. Same behind post. So the same will happen with the umpire about to throw the ball back in from that position. The ball now back with the umpire, throws it back in, out the back, the ball runs, picked up Scott. Tries to get rid of it, does so. Again, another quick kick back towards the goal, this time to the other pocket. Going back, the flight of the ball. I think it's Jervis, takes the mark. Little short kick out to the half-back line. Mark is taken out there by Spiller. So Spiller now transfers play across goals, just inside the field of play, picked up oh, by Kelly. Off. He went, now he walks back through. So we're going to have a rush behind. And Thompson now to one goal five. He's done that well. Bannockburn, one goal nine. He plays on quickly, gets the kick out board towards Perkins, bit of a party trick in the back and got a push in the back left the footy behind then uh, got the footy back anyway so on centre wing commentary box side goes with the right foot kick to half forward Fulton's there Jacques over the back as well close to the boundary line can he keep it in he could to start with but then it rolled out oh it's out it's got to be out it was out a mile it was almost in the club room oh, god so the ball's still in play and now it'll put the ball up jeez just about Went inside out of chair and came back out again. Oh, wow. So, boundary throw in. Right half forward, Thompson into attack. 
No, sorry, batting burn in attack, kicking into the eastern end. Peters, kick was smothered. Gregorio in there as well. Pack develops again. Umpire, a bit more work to do. Still right half forward. Ball. Back to the umpire. Cole. Come from the same side as Gregorio. It gets it down. Gardner can't take it with him. Now the ball comes out. Lavers arches the back. Goes a left foot kick to half forward. Parsons got his name written on it. Can't take the mark though. And now the ball comes free. And the ball comes around the corner from Spokes. Rick Spokes. And it's through for one behind. So they go to 1 6 12. And they trail back to 1 9 15. And that is on the Common Affine Hotel second quarter score. 11 minutes played. Rick short goes out, finds Parsons. Another Somebody short kick, kick goes goal. wider again. Bowden, Luke, this is. Both the brothers inside to the same team this afternoon. And then goes outside, finds Jervis. Jervis, a long handball out wide. And unfortunately too wide because Nath Kelly can't kick the ball in the field of play. And we're going to have a ball in to take place just short of the centre wing. Another Bannockburn-Thompson game. I'm waiting for this Connor Jervis, uh, Phil Manassa goal take two. <laughs> Where's the eight bouncer? So the ball thrown in, umpire again, Gregorio, ball out the back, picked up, quick kick forward, and that was by Spokes, gets it into the half forward line, going back, picked the ball up nicely with Broman, gets a 1-2 from Kelly, was going to give it, ran into trouble, went back to Parsons, back to Broman, he continued to run, not too Ooh, sure where he was going with go. that kick, but he's found Gardner right on the chest. So Gardner now with the ball, decides to go long, back towards the goal square, uh. Parsons in best position, gets the spoil away, knocks it towards the boundary line, Kelly has uh, got the handball over the top this time, running player is Reek, went back inside, put himself under pressure, then threw the ball out, Umpire said it was a throw, dropping the ball anyway. So free kick goes to the Thompson side. He hasn't gone back over the mark, so it'll go back to him. McLeish had dropped the mark. So it's now Thompson from that half-forward position. Far side of the ground from where we sit. Another short kick comes in. McLeish, short. So Jervis just asked to come back by the umpire. To be sure of McLeish's kicking ability, but it's uh, about a 40-metre kick he needs to get here from the far side of the ground. Probably kicking back into a bit of a breeze. Marshall on a strong lead. That one is ignored at this stage. So he loads up now. McLeish goes long towards goal. And there we have That's our second the one goal we afternoon. And it's now Thompson. Two goals, 6-18. They lead Bannockburn on 1-9. And we have gone... Uh, about 13 minutes, second quarter. Come on, Fino, tell second quarter scoreboard. Well, the way it's going, if they can kick, whoever kicks straight might win this game because it's that, that was a beautiful kick. Finally, we get a goal. Someone's got to tell young Brandon Gardner, and it, by the way, he's played pretty well. When you've got no pressure on you and you've your full forward or your forwards, one on the left, one on the right, don't kick it to the middle. Kick it to the advantage of your forwards. It's twice he's done it now. He's kicked it to the advantage of the Bannockburn backs. The back in the middle. Pack develops around from the ruck contest. Ball spills to the back for Thompson. They can break free now. Go with the kick towards half forward. Hutchinson put his hands up. Couldn't take the mark. Matheson comes across as well. Picks it up at half forward. Shuffles the handball back to Hutchinson. He handballs it back to Brandon Gardner. Off a step towards the hot spot. Couple go up, punch the, towards the front of the pack. Nobody can pick it up. Nathan Bissett's there as well. Ball still in dispute. Spokes got the handball out. Marshall. Ooh. Kick around the corner. He's missed everything. And put it into the tree behind the goals. And out of bounds on the full. Free kick to Bannockburn. And the reason you haven't seen one of them big Phil Manassa goals is you've got to get the footy. <laughs> Connor Jervis hasn't had much of it at this stage. Mm. So Parsons will take the result and free kick in the back pocket. Thought about chipping it. He does now a bit further and he oh he's turned it over. Wall takes the mark. Been good, Brendan Wall. That right half forward has taken the grab. He's kicked one this afternoon. From about this position really. So we'll see how he goes. What I want to see is Jason and Tom kick it through the netball hoop again. I tell you what, the way they're kicking, he's half a chance. <laughs> so Brendan Wall. Is to extend the lead to nine points for Thompson. He comes in. We kick him from about 45 out, just inside 50, comes in with the right foot, puts it up, good for distance. Accuracy though, eludes him again on this occasion, he's 1-1, one, one. 
And they are 2 7 19. Thompson, they lead Bannyburn 1 9 15. Common Affine Hotel, second quarter scoreboard, 15 minutes played. So Kelly now, I'm not too sure where he wants to go with this ball. He's got uh, a couple of players club rim side. He now goes in that direction. Fulton will be the obvious target up over the top. Big fella gets first hands on it. Gardner picks the ball up nicely, gets boot the ball, picked up by Bissett, steps through the contest. Handball goes away to McIntosh. Little short chip inside, nice looking kick, picked up by Stevenson. They probably needed to keep going there, but Tom has doubled back, so he goes short. He'll take possession of the ball, but he's still a long way from goal, and no one back behind uh, the last player in Jacker, and so he needs to steady himself down. Not too sure where he wants to go, so he just puts there. it back into the wards of goal square. Stevenson, oh, I think it is, mark. goes up, and he takes the mark, and we'll go back and have a chance now to kick the second goal for the Bannockburn side. Now, these are ones you cannot miss. You cannot miss this many. You wouldn't be wanting to miss these. No, ones, you, can, you cannot miss these if you're going to win a game of football. These are the ones, a lot of them have been scraggly. You cannot miss this one. So Stevenson now from about 20 metres out directly in front, kicks it goal it's and he's... Bloody well, you were saying, Gravy? Well, I'm saying you uh. cannot miss it if you want to win games of football. I'm not saying he's not going to kick it. You cannot miss them if you want to win games of footy. And it burned a one goal, 10. They trail Thompson on 2-7 and we have gone 16 minutes. Second quarter, Common Fiend Hotel. I mean, second quarter scoreboard. Mitch has made it easy for them. They can see the goal for us. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe they need to be wider. <laughs> so, Jacker. Mm, a lot wider. Into the pocket. Campbell takes the No, mark. I mean... Post wide, not not not. Yeah. Right, they need to be another 13 metres apart. So Campbell to switch the play goes across the ground. So Kay finds the coach hole, takes the mark, plays on, goes into the middle. Marshall comes up, can't take the mark. Free kick over the shoulder, said the umpire. So he'll get the free kick back into the centre square. So Marshall. Goes towards centre half forward. Matheson got a couple against him. He goes up. Front and centre was okay. Watts couldn't take it with him though. Howell rides it. Does nicely to Bowles. He gives it back. Sets a teammate up. Handball over the top. Bannockburn with the numbers. Parsons gives it away to Jacques. Got some numbers. Guido's there. Banks can't take it. Now he threw it away. Goes towards uh, Spiller. Spiller it was. Handball nearly came out for Thompson from... Uh, Oh, holding the ball, said the umpire. Who's number 10 for Thompson? You got that one for me? <laughs> yeah, well, here. Hutchinson goes towards the pocket. Matheson on a lead. Good kick, good mark. And Josh Matheson takes the mark and will shoot for goal from 40 metres out on the boundary line. Well, he can be Mick Campbell. We haven't no, him Mick Campbell's number 12. Oh, He's out there. He's got the green boots on and the headband. Oh, there you go. Walking through the middle. Very pretty. So, Matheson. Shoot for goal. You're wasting the time getting a team sheet from these mongrels. Yeah. We he's just so far out of whack. Josh Cal Coon. No, Callan Stevens in the record, but that could mean... Comes him. in. Doesn't make the distance. Off hands. Front of the pack. Ball still in dispute. Watts gave it away quickly. Kelly gets it towards half back. Jarks goes up. Doesn't take the mark. Harding. Oh, ball chopped off. Still in dispute. Good punch away towards Broman. Tom comes out on centre wing as well. Handball over the top, got chopped off though by Howland, and it will be boundary throw. And Scott tells Jason Tom about it. So does Brandon Gardner. Jacques doesn't like him either. So yeah, well I don't know whether you want to do that. What you want to do is go a bit harder at the ball a couple of times, mate, because you've pulled out twice. So boundary throw in. <laughs> well, yes. Over the back, Spiller taps it on Broman and Fulton falls into Fulton's arms. Jones wraps him up, and Scott umpire comes in. Oi, punts. Well, there you go. There you go. And Thompson will take the free kick. Scott handballs it away. Shocking handball. Lavers breaks away on centre wing. Oh, he runs a long, long way. way. And then turns the ball over anyway. So, Bannockburn have the free, uh, have the mark. And it's Bowden and goes across towards the opposite side. Centre wing. Cole takes the mark. And then Josh Cole. Plays on through the middle, goes long. Jacques made up a lot of ground, called out. Ah, well he, called. He did too. He called Stevenson out. He was a run onto it, and he takes the mark and will shoot for goal from 40 metres out, slight angle. Jack Randall's done the thigh muscle, I reckon. So he's kicked two behind so far. Brent Jacques. Scoreboard's not right, is it? 110? No. They yeah. got 17. 110, 27. 110 comes in. 
And he's missed. Gee whiz, I'll tell you what they're doing during the week. And eight ball work in the middle. Time trials. <laughs> one one eleven so they're gonna they're gonna win in a minute. One one eleven seventeen Thompson two seven nineteen. Common Affair Hotel, second quarter scoreboard, 20 minutes played. Kick went out and Scott has taken the mark. It was probably a little bit uh, cricket uh, decision there. Went oh, to the, went to the earth eyes, third man. Thought my eyes were playing tricks. I would have bounced. <laughs> the ball down. Reek, spoiled from behind. Picked up. Thompson through the middle of the ground. It sends up in the hands back with Spiller. Spiller got the handball away. Again, picked up. Well, number 10, we don't know what his name is because he's not listed. So he goes back inside to Matheson. Can't pick the ball up. or fumble it away towards Labor. Oh, he just dropped the ball. Unfortunately, Guido Banks was there. Picked up. Bass, uh, Bissett. He got the ball, left boot, little short kick, looked up, saw the player in Brome in the middle of the ground, has a runner outside, went back to Bissett, looking for players to come at him, little short kick, good right up, and Jason Tom takes the mark, and he will go back now and have a chance to kick the uh, second goal for Bannockburn. 20 minutes into the second quarter. That one didn't bounce, Smitty. It's either no. Fletcher Banfield or, or Jake yeah. Randall. I reckon. No, Randall was 60. He right, just came so, off. so Fletcher Flet Banfield. Fletcher Banfield must be number 10. Good call, Jace. Righto. That's what he's going to be called from now on. That's how we're going with him. Jason Tom loads up from centre forward, and he is now also missed. missed. <sighs> so, Jason Tom with one goal, yes. two for the afternoon, and one goal, 12. I know that adds up to 18, because I can add up. Grab Brendan. Two goals, seven. You got any goal posts out at Bannockburn? <laughs> what, what's going on out there? You're taking them off the ground. Still playing cricket. 21 and a half minutes gone. As we said, Bannockburn won 12, 2-7 for the uh, Thompson Tigers. <laughs> How are you, Shuri? So Jacker kicks in again, finds Coon. He takes the mark in the back pocket. Well, he's watching jukebox go around, Brendan. He goes over the top. Matt looking for Matheson. Jervis is there. Oh, gee whiz, is that not a free kick to Perkins? And umpire says no. And a bad throw in. So right half forward. Tigers still on. Tigers. Bannock Burns still under attack. Can't That's do it right. today. Just, just right. Can't do it today. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> so Fulton up against Bowles. Bowles works his way to the front. Gets it down. Bissett can't take it with him. Ball somehow came out. Don't know how really Fulton got Flip it away. Guido Banks. Kick around the corner was terrible, but uh, might sit for Jacques. No, it doesn't. Atkinson shuffles the handball to Jones. Gets a kick towards Hutchinson on half four, uh, centre wing. Getting across there, Van Ingen. Oh, Jerry's. He kicked it towards the boundary line. Oh, oh he. Oh, he's <laughs> and the umpire said he did. He thought about it for a long time, too, the umpy. Is that your mate? So, no. no. He's Hutchinson. up here. Because we were talking about that to him before the game. Hutchinson will take the free kick for Thompson on centre wing. He chips the ball short. McLeish takes it. So, just controlling it now. 23 minutes. Thompson got the footy. Second term. King of the city. And he goes towards half four. It was a terrible kick off the boot. Brad Watts, good mark. In front of Hobble. So, Bannockburn retrieved the footy. Go towards centre wing. Stevenson worked his opponent under the footy, but couldn't take the mark. Off hands and out of bounds for a throw in. So, it's 1 12 18. Can win the sign if they like. Bannockburn. Thompson. <laughs> 2 7 19. In Played 20, 23 <laughs> minutes in the, in the second term. Ball. Dale's, Dale's obviously <laughs> hungry. Or in that bloody <laughs> women's footy rubbish. Oh, oh don't go Sydney. there with that. Out of the contest. Oh, 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 going to oh, say through the middle of the ground and picked up there by Spokes. Goes into the forward line. Spoil from behind at <gasps> ground level. It's uh, out wide and the ball runs over the boundary line. Can we just say the opinions of Grubby Cations do, <laughs> do not reflect, do not reflect everybody else's opinions? <laughs> what, so you just reckon it's good footy? Oh, I. I, I Thought it was okay. <laughs> oh, and, and I reckon it's terrific. Yeah, absolutely. Not when you kick four goals, yeah. five and win a game of football. <laughs> Although we might have that either. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Ball picked up by Broman. Back of the contest. Goes back to the centre of the ground. The ball coming through uh, was Sam Jacker. Kept his eye on the ball. Well and took done. a strong mark. So Sammy Jacker from right in the middle of the ground. Uh, he doesn't go load up. He goes out wide. Mm. Now, was that deliberate, umpire? Oh, gosh. Oh. Well, no, we can't call that deliberate, can we? No. Umpire says throw it back in. And in between centre wing and half forward for the Thompson side. They'll uh, have another opportunity to hold the ball in their forward line. Bowles moves across to do the ruck work. Fulton's there with him. So Fulton and the Bowles, they go at the ball. Front of the contest, picked up. Labors get the ball again. I tell you what, he gets in and out of trouble a fair bit, this bloke. He's, yeah, he's played a pretty good game. Yeah, yeah. Gets the ball out wide. And as far as Parsons, who read the flight of the ball nicely. And Fulton didn't know what he held control. Yeah, I thought he did. And that's again, 
he's done that a couple of times. His delivery's got to be better. So the ball back inside. So a couple of Anarchy X, Anarchy boys. But they team up here with Bissett with the ball now. Goes to the far side of the ground out towards Harding. So BJ, ball still on their defensive end of the ground as a short player in... Uh, Stevenson, and again, that kick wasn't too good. Maybe just landed in the field of play, says the umpire. So we're going to have a ball in back on centre wing. Not as good as his dad yet, young Bissett. <laughs> Had a few beers with his uncle over the Corey. summer. Yeah, yeah, more than a few. He hates a beer. Big Corey. <laughs> no, thrown back in this time. Ball is tapped down. Back of the contest. Bowls went after it. Picked up there. Again, Bissett handballs over the top. Well, that's a nice handball. Puts a player outside the contest. Stevenson can't take the marks. Got plenty of time to go back and collect it. Come oh, back on his right side. Geez. Got plenty of players running through the middle. Fulton's going to be one of them. He stands there and he takes the mark. So, uh, Kieran Fulton, he's going to be right on 50. It'll need to be a good kick. I think one of them needs to be a good kick at the moment, the way they're going. Goal. So he's an opportunity to load up here from uh, right on the 50. I'm not too sure he's kicking back into a breeze or what's happening down there, but uh, an opportunity now to either level scores or maybe put Bannock Burn in front, depending on the kick. We actually could go to bounce in the full. The odds are saying yeah. leveling it, aren't they? So here we go. He loads up from centre forward. That's nice better. looking kick off That's the That's better. Without too much trouble. He's been ball. doing no, that all day. Through the middle. He's got his first goal of the afternoon now, Fulton, and it's the second for the Bannockburn side. There, two goals, 12-24, 2 7 19, Thompson. We've gone 26 minutes, second quarter. Common Fiend Hotel, second quarter scoreboard. Tell you what, when goals are so hard to come by, that defender then, he had the turn and circle of a Bondi tram. He just let the Bannockburn boy run straight around him. You've, you can't let him do that down deep in defence. It was an easy kick. And the pass then is under absolutely no pressure at all, Alex. Correct. I'm just I'm looking at your one liners. You've been listening to too much of the honey badger over summer. What's the honey badger? Ah, oh, don't worry. Yeah, I'm, I'm asking the same thing. <laughs> What's the honey badger? I went out Ball. with a shield once. It looked like a honey badger. <laughs> back in the middle, goes <laughs> back in the forward line. Mark taken down there. <laughs> Uh, Thompson now, chance, Jack, he's played a good game back in defence, he goes out wide, he's going to uh, have his teammate put under a bit of pressure, ball comes out in the kick. back, going to be picked up there, handball, missed the target, Bowden went back and trying to collect it again, picked up again, Thompson worked their way through the contest, goes outside to Jones, has time to pick it up, he's uh, able to do so now, puts boot to ball, goes into the forward pocket, Luke Bowden gets a spoil away, picked up, now in the back end there, and I'm not too sure who that is, but he's tackled and brought to the ground. And it's going to be a ball up, so it was actually Josh Cole that was tackled. So we're going to have a ball up, forward pocket position, Thompson again. Another opportunity late in this quarter, ball tapped back towards the goal square. Picked up there, Bissett gets the handball away, ends up in the hands of Parson, goes back to Bissett. Wants to get the handball away, but got boot to ball, outside 50, Gregorio stands there. Big fella in his hands, goes to Lavers, missed him as he ran past. He went back and collected the ball, got the handball out wide. Jacker out there, got numbers against him, he's good enough to get the ball forward. Goes towards player in Jones, he went back over the top, so they maintain possession. What's going on? I'm not too sure. Well, Jack is down. Sharks gave him one, I think. Well, he just nearly caught one, too. He's not moving. Oh, no, there he is. Did he take him into the fence or something, did he? don't know. Must have been just off the ball, because I was watching the play. Yeah, I didn't see it either. Doesn't matter. He's going to get a free kick, get a kick jacket, yeah. but it's going to be uh, Labors that's going to take it, I think. So well, there mustn't have been too much in it because if the umpire saw it to pay the free kick, if it was a fair bit in it, he would have sent him off or yeah, reported him. Or so given him fifty at least. Pulled yeah. out a card. No, you yeah. can't give him fifty. So Sammy Jack a little bit slow to get up there now. Done the like ankle, I think. The ankle or hip? Either that or his hips hit the fence. That's mm. what's yeah. You don't get a yeah. I don't know. Right. Long way away over there. What's going on there? Well, we can start the game. He's up on his feet. If you, there's no reason not to. Well, well that's what he's saying. No, they, he's they want him to take the kick. They want him to take the kick, and he's saying I'm too sore to take it. Well, he's leaving the field, isn't he? It doesn't matter. You can leave it. They don't stop play for that. He's that's in a bit of trouble. He's leaving the field, so the bloke, he can't take the kick, so the next bloke next to him takes it. Then between the times, the ball's gone back to the full forward position, picked up Matheson, tried to work his way through the what? contest. 
end up in the hands of Bannockburn who feed the ball out the back. Now runs towards the boundary line and it's over and out. And there's going to be a throw in 10 metres around from behind post as we took over 29 and a half minutes. Second quarter, Bannockburn 2-12. They lead Thompson on 2-7. So throw in, right forward pocket. Bowles up against Cole. Now they get an effective tap, comes to the back of the pack. McLeish. Oh, geez, he played for the free kick beautifully and got it. <laughs> he just made sure he put the knees into the ground and went, let's everybody fall over me, and they did. I call play on then, Mole. Don't worry about that. So McLeish, who's kicked one, will uh, have a chance from 50 out directly in front for his second. And put Thompson back in front, close to siren time for half time. All right. Bannockburn just kicked a nice one. They need one here. So McLeish comes in. City end. As the siren sounds, he goes long and he hasn't. What happened well, there? Well, in fact, oh, it's he a behind. He a bit earlier than rather than the ball go It through. is a behind. Oh, it's got to be a behind. It's got to be behind. Yes, it is. Yep. Oh, God. So, Nothing. what? Heck, it has to be. He kicked it. He kicked uh, uh, it as the siren sounded. So nobody touched it. And it went through blew, for a behind. Because he blew the whistle before it went Doesn't through. Doesn't matter. It's a kick, doesn't it? That's Doesn't right. matter. Oh my god. Well, did anyone touch it? Well, the one player. Doesn't matter. It, it ran through well, for a behind. Went, ran through. Yeah, but if someone touches it, that's dead. As soon as someone touches it, it's dead. Might want to win by a point. No, they're going to give it yep. to yep. So it's a behind. There so McLeish go. kicks a behind. And they finish at 2-8-20, Thompson. They trail Bannockburn 2-12-24. And that's half time here at Godfrey Street. We will take a break.